Okay, so like I say, the long pattern takes you into the next short pattern cage. And you can, you, you know, we've had classes on that. How I can just use the long patterns to get you to the first full tripentatonic cage and then play the short patterns from there. What's most important right now is that we, we first start in the proper place and it's not necessarily the pentatonic because let's face it folks, everybody knows the pentatonics. D pentatonic, C pentatonic, A pentatonic. Okay, so it goes D, C, A, G pentatonic. What comes after G? E pentatonic. And then D pentatonic again. So everybody knows the, the, the pentatonic. So does it real? it doesn't really help us right away to, to study the string shapes there but they're there you know what I'm saying At, although it might help us with substitutions but still we know those pentatonics so well so let's say we're in the key of of F okay here's an E shape F okay so E the fourth of E is A and the fifth of E string the the cage fifth of E is C and I showed you that on the circle earlier in the lesson in part one okay so we're going to have E shaped F to A shaped B flat right and then to the fifth which is going to be a C shaped C this is looks looks just like the key of C C but it's not it's the key of F C the fifth so we don't want to uh, be playing a C diatonic at that time because if you're in the key of F, okay, so you're key in the key of F here. What's this? That's kind of watery. It should be a dominant. So we don't play the diatonic for the fourth and the fifth unless we're following the diatonic scale of the root, which we can do that. That's probably what I just did. So the, with the string shapes, we have to do a major slowdown. We have to go from rabbit to tortoise and look at this and rebuild these uh, scales and, more, and especially the triads the triads we're going to rebuild them string by string so that we don't even have to worry about where the notes are anymore except within the string shapes finally got some cream <laughs> so let's look at this there's an important thing that we have to know it'd probably be easier to look at the short patterns so to make that to make that happen we're just going to turn this into an a stack forget about 4xl and down here right now this is the five and the six okay th th we're not going to have this note either it's just five six seven root two three four five six seven root and d is two three four all right now if we want a major triad we're going to have that it's going to be root three five okay just root three five and we're going to show i'm going to show you how to apply the substitution and how to apply the it to the minors but before we get to the minors we've got to get through the majors okay so with the with the uh, a shape c there starting on the so we got to start with an A shape C here. All right. So let let's assume let's assume that we know what we're talking about here, 
and we can go over to the A, A shape box here. Maybe I could keep them both both up there. But remember, we're, we're only want to look at this A now, not the long pattern. So A shape C is going to be 5 root 3. There it is. Of course, you know, if we wanted to play that A shape, well, the old way of doing it is, okay, play the A pentatonic. There it is. Gonna start from that, from that G. Okay. Now, if we, that's the pentatonic. It's the inversion that's the, with the uh, G bass. I don't know which inversion it is. One, two. It's the third inversion of the C uh, pentatonic. Okay. The major triad is embedded in that pentatonic. Is part of. Okay. So that's the old way I used to do it. And then I just say, well, okay, I'm in an A shape. Okay. So, geez, if I could just get up to this, if I could just get up to the, the A shape there, that's three of my strings right there in my arpeggio. Okay. But this is kind of a broken arpeggio, isn't it? It's. Okay. So we would be starting five. Okay, then what do we go to that root? Yeah, we go to the root. So it's five root, five root, three. Well, look at this repeat. Five root, five root. That's really not an arpeggio. We want to go five root three over here. Okay, that takes us out of the cage. So we go to this one because we're in a tripentatonic. There it is. I mean, that's in the A cage anyway. So it's five root three, five root three, five. So let's look at the string shapes for the short pattern with the A. So we have right there, A is going to be the five, E is going to be the root, all right, C is going to be three, five, like that. So, so far we have five, E is the root, C is 3, 5 there. We got them both on, on, on string uh, interval there. And then the, the G is, uh, is the root. Okay, so we're straight up to the root there. Now we have to hit the tuning warp. In the D string, we're going to hit the 3, and then we're going to go back to the A string on top. With That, that 3 in the D string is going to be straight up now. Okay, instead of over instead of a major third looking thing it's going to be straight up because of the tuning uh, adjustment and then up to the five again and the point is that's all you have to know is these string shapes that are the major triad string shapes to play any of the five positions you just stack them on top and it'll do the inversion for you so if we want to look at the c box there Okay, well, all we're really going to do is, is uh, let's see, we're going to need, um, we're going to need that C again on top. You know, we would take the A here, chuck that on top here. I'm, I'm trying to make this easier to envision, but I could just as easy explain it. And then we're going to have the same C on top there. I know it's kind of, uh, <laughs> It's kind of not not matched that good, but for C we'd start the three five string shape. So this will be a key of C, three five string shape. Then the root, then the third on the D, then the fifth on the A. Okay. Now uh, the problem is the A isn't isn't uh, situated properly. So let's get let's go back here a minute. And look at where that A is supposed to be. So on the C here, we've got we're going two, three, four, and that A, the the five, is supposed to be right over that two. Okay, so you have to shape fit these things yourself. Okay, so we're just going to look at the short pattern here. You can see how the A is supposed to be shape fitted like that. So we have a seven here and an L there, a mini seven L shaped S three D and then an S2C on top. 
cage, just long pattern, box pattern like that with a four.